This Shabbat has the beautiful feature of being Shabbat Mubarakim. We bless the brand new month this Shabbat, the month of Sivan, which contains the festival of Shabbat. It's also the Shabbat in which we conclude the entire book of Leviticus, and every time we end the book in the Torah, we conclude with the words, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazak, let us take strength and be strengthened as we continue the journey of Torah. The first words of this week's portion begin, if you will study Torah, and you will keep my commandments. I will shower you with blessings, says Hashem. And we begin to enumerate and describe the manifold blessings that Hashem will give our people Israel. The word describing the study of Torah is Bechukotai, the name of this week's portion, which means normally the statutes. The Alter Rebbe explains the use of this word because it is related to the Hebrew word Chakika, which means to engrave, to hew into stone. And the message that it is telling us is that there are letters that are written on paper or even with ink on parchment. But the letters that are hewed into stone have a totally different definition. Because when letters are engraved into stone, the letters are the stone and the stone is the letter. They are one and the same. They are all completely one. When you write letters onto parchment or onto paper, there is the ink and there is the paper, and although they are bonded, they are still distinct entities. It is possible to take a blade and to lift the letter off the parchment. But when it is hewed into stone, it is absolutely one. And the message that it is telling us is that when we study Torah, it should be like engraved letters. We shouldn't take the Torah and superimpose it onto our existence, our lifestyle, the way we like to define ourselves and have the added element of Torah. More than that, deeper than that. Hashem's wanting to define ourselves by the word of Hashem, to define our existence, our purpose, our motivation, our meaning of our lives by being completely one with the message that Hashem is giving us in the Torah. It's not just an added element to our existence. It defines us. And the story is told of two student rabbis who were far away in a distant town during their summer months. They went to motivate Jewish people to purchase Jewish books and to be connected to Judaism, to bring them the mitzvahs of Twilin, lighting Shabbos candles. And they were noticed in this faraway place where they didn't normally see Jews and certainly not Jews that looked like rabbis. And they were interviewed by the local newspaper as to what they were doing there. And they explained and gave a very beautiful metaphor they said, we are like scribes. We've come to this town to rewrite the broken and faded letters of our people Israel. The newspaper thought it was a beautiful metaphor and they wrote a wonderful article. When they came back to the central headquarters and to the Rebbe, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, he said that I want to correct the metaphor. You are not like scribes writing letters. Jews are not letters that are faded or withered or cracked or broken. Jews are letters engraved into stone. What happens with time is that sometimes grime and grit and external matter accumulates and eventually you don't see the letters. Our role is to blow off the dust, to remove the externalities, to rediscover the essential oneness that exists between a Jew and Hashem. Our job is not to rewrite broken letters, but to rediscover the letter that is there within. The challenge of this Shabbat, Bechukotai, is to have the message engraved, to recognize our connection is essential, not superimposed, not an added dimension, but the reality of our lives. May we live lives that are filled with Torah, with the fulfillment of its commandments, and the manifold blessings that Hashem responds with. Have a beautiful Shabbos.